generalized velocity. Generalized velocity. Let us consider a dynamical system at time t comprised of n particles. Let each particle be specified by the n generalized coordinates q1, q2, q3, dot 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 up to qn. Then the time derivative of the generalized coordinates qj, where j goes from 1, 2, 3 up to n, is called the generalized velocity, which is generated by qj dot. The position vector ri of the ith particle in the form of generalized coordinates n time t can be written as ri equal to ri of q1 q2 dot 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 up to qf comma t. Using Euler's theorem we get dri equal to del ri by del q1 into dq1 plus del ri by del q2 into dq2 plus dot 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 up to del ri by del qf into dqf and the last term is given by del ri by del t into dt. Dividing both sides by dt, we get dri by dt equal to del ri by del q1 into dq1 by dt plus del ri by del q2 into dq2 by dt plus up to del ri by del qf into dqf by dt plus del ri by del t into dt by dt. All the terms will remain same except the last term that is given by del ri by del t. The left hand side can be written as v equal to and the right hand side except the last term can be written in terms of summation sign as summation j goes from 1 to f del ri by del qj into dqj by dt plus del ri by del t which implies p equal to summation j goes from 1 to f into del ri by del qj and in place of dqj by dt we can write qj dot plus del ri by del t where the term qj dot is called the generalized velocity.